Okay, well, uh, let's hope for the best here. This is Justin from CartoonSmart.com. And we are going to draw some Star Wars style art. I've got this uh, fantastic um, art of the Force Awakens. And some of the uh, illustrations in there, I go, gosh, they make it look so easy. So let's see if we can <laughs> make it look easy, too. Uh, so I'm just going to draw uh, probably some sort of droid or something like that. Uh, but uh, let's use a human figure as a kind of the basis for this. So uh, let's start up uh, uh, top of the file and just kind of really quickly sketch in here the uh, the body of this guy. And then I'm kind of drawing a little dark right now, but uh, we'll uh, we can make this layer uh, less uh, or more see through. So I'm just gonna kind of do little circles for the shoulders. Uh, I, it's not usually a good idea to start with a straight across uh, shoulder line, so we'll have this guy kind of leaning a little bit. And if you've never used uh, Adobe Draw before, that's fine. And you don't, if you don't plan on using it, that's cool too. Uh, you don't have to. This is certainly a uh, drawing tutorial for any illustration software, as long as you can change brush sizes, do all that sort of change colors. <laughs> Basically, the, the simplest things any drawing program uh, should allow you to do. Uh, so let's see. Let's kind of bend this arm out that way a little bit. I already feel like the feet are going to get cut off, but that's okay. I kind of, uh, I'm not too concerned about that. And actually, one of the things um, I think is a good thing to kind of mention is that if you're just doing quick sketches like this, um, worry about sort of the energy of it. The force so to speak I want to uh, worry too much about making things look perfect uh, you just kind of want to get the feeling of it if you get that hopefully the rest of it kind of falls in line and again we're gonna kind of just build this up uh, uh, one layer at a time you know maybe less one less sketchy than the next hopefully and uh, I'm going to bend this leg out a little bit. And then hopefully by the end of it, end with something kind of cool. So this leg I'm just going to go do straight. And obviously, we, yeah, I've kind of messed myself up for drawing the feet. But that's okay. Again, not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, a lot of times if you have, you know, kind of your legs like this, one of them is going to be straighter, right? Okay, that gives us a little something to work with. Let's, um, let's do maybe little hand over here and just indication of it and you can kind of tell that if these arms were uh, completely you know down they weren't bent at all they'd come to right about here so which is somewhere between the knee and the uh, this, uh, leg joint so there you go it's kind of the <laughs> robot crotch area all right now uh, I'm gonna go over here to my layers I'm just gonna take this uh, the opacity down on this layer so we don't get to see too much of it that's okay it's just a, a rough guideline for where the parts are gonna be I'm gonna create another layer just above that one and here's where we're gonna start to shape this thing out a little bit okay so kind of get the helmet in here and when I was kind of practicing some stuff I ended up making stuff that was too wide so I'm gonna to try to make sure I don't do that again uh, common common Star Wars thing oops the old visor right let me try that one more time going straight across well not straight across I'm going to kind of arc it down just a little bit but um, then I'm going to do one line here one out this way that's a little not as long let me take my brush size down just a tad bit so I kind of get something like that just so you can sort of see that this one side is a little bit longer and then make it seem like this is kind of pushed out just a little bit something like that and again I don't want to don't want to kind of overcommit to anything right now but uh, let's let's take these lines and we'll kind of uh, run some stuff we'll 
the lines right here. See that run some other lines basically parallel to that for a little while, and then let's arc those down. We'll do the same thing over here. Gotta come down this way. And it does feel good to be drawn a little bit again. I kind of had a resolution recently that I need to draw a lot more, and I need to just turn on the doggone microphone and, and talk my way through it, even if I'm feeling tired or working on something that's a little bit more smart, like our programming tutorials. Okay, so uh, from here, a common kind of Star Wars-y thing is... Uh, the old uh, kind of a breathing apparatus, right? So maybe we've got a little tube that starts over here and it's going to kind of come down this way and then arc its way back around the helmet. So we might do a little thing like that. Or you could probably just cut it off like that. And then kind of do these lines like so something like that and do the same thing over here of course this is going to look just a tad different because we've got a uh, bit of a different view on it so probably something like this and we'll make this one go kind of like that All right and we could probably try to get away with just shading some of the rest of this in with uh, black down the road. Uh, so let's uh, put the neck out here and just kind of do some sort of rings like that to indicate maybe it's a robot, maybe, maybe it's not. I'm gonna put a little line down the middle here. Again, kind of emphasizing the direction that he's looking. Oh, that looks kind of nice, split line. And of course you could always, you know, this is something you could do down the road too, but you know, do some kind of lines in here like this that, you know, just kind of detail it up a little bit. Uh, I don't think I'd want to connect that line to the tube though. Let's try to do that. Well, it's still about connected. Okay, that's all right. And uh, yeah, so I think I need to bring the, uh, the kind of shoulders up a little bit otherwise this neck is just looking like way too long and let's do kind of a sort of a row body uh, oh, what is this just a ring over here something like that something you could kind of believe is the start of a uh, robot arm and let's try to square this off a little bit up at the top something like this and then we can just kind of play around with you know we can just come down to a triangle or throw some other shapes in there uh, let's try sort of a kind of like two Superman symbols side by side right See, Superman S, right? And let's see, well, again, just roughing it in there. Little chest hair? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and again, plenty of room for kind of embellishing these with other lines, things like that. And let's do that uh, other sort of circle over here. Take a look. Looking all right. <laughs> I haven't stopped the tutorial yet. That's uh, usually what happens if things aren't going well. Okay, so yeah, we want to continue this arm kind of right down to here. And doesn't let's uh, let's assume he doesn't have like a lot of plating over here. So we could just kind of do some stuff like this. Maybe another like little line over this way stuff kind of more little rivets and things like that or let's try to connect that up a little bit and again I'm not uh, clearly not trying to be overly detailed at least not at this point oh typical robot thing 
This kind of braces the bottom arm. All right. Let's do another sort of joint over here. working in little squares and I'd say if you're a young person out there younger than me I'm 30 I can't ever remember 38 or so uh, this is a good time to um, practice illustration <laughs> you got uh, probably a Star Wars movie every year for the rest of your lives if not two of them right so that means there's plenty of opportunity to uh hey god willing work on a star wars movie that was the dream wasn't it um this is gonna kind of feel like shading that a little bit Oop. yeah it's I don't like what I did on the other one, but that's okay. Again, this is just loose, just loose. Uh, you could even do maybe some kind of wires like this hanging around. And who knows what type of uh, droid this is. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that um, that medic droid. Roughly doing the fingers. A lot of robot doctors in Star Wars, right? I guess actually, you no, know, in the new one, we didn't really see any robot doctors. Or did we? Ooh, I can't remember. Who patched up, uh, what's his name at the end? Fill that in a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Let's do something. But you know, if, uh, if you've got a robot doctor, you could certainly have a robot health inspector, something like that, more mundane things. So maybe that's what this guy is. He's just checking in, making sure no milk has been left out for too long. All the caps are on everything in the fridge. And then he could just print out a 100 score <laughs> right from his chest right uh, let's see just kind of do that other little joint over there oh, what happened there oh I probably probably held down too long and tried to fill something in okay Surprise! It's the health inspector droid. No, oh, no. Okay, and again, maybe a little loose wire here and there. Uh, let's see. Be kind of fun to. Again, this is kind of a ripoff on the the medic droid, but I do love kind of the invisible belly look. So why not? Actually, that's kind of a feminine <laughs> lower half. It's okay. It's, uh, uh, it's a robot. I mean, who cares? Uh, let's see here. So maybe do sort of um, see-through to like a spine type thing. So I'm going to squiggle that in up to the top. Oops. Something like that. Here. A little less feminine. Really got no problem with that. It's just that I was thinking this was a guy. <laughs> but it's a, it's a droid. Who cares? <laughs> it's pretty sexless anyway, isn't it? Okay, so if it is sort of see through, we've got, uh, you know, some sort of parts inside of here, more wires connecting things. Stuff like that, do a little cross hatching, that ought to work. And then 
we can uh, kind of do some more of this action for the leg joints and droid or no droid male or female we all come down to about this little triangle part right down here if you're gonna walk on two legs you're gonna have to have something there right some little connector right and let's see let's uh oop. nope don't try to fill it in there's nothing to fill in oh and it did it to me again every once in a while this program will stop letting me zoom out so i'm gonna have to pause this in a moment deal with that but uh, let's just kind of embellish up this leg a little bit more maybe it'll uh, it has, it's not freeing itself okay we are back and continuing down here Of course, tempting to make this kind of perfectly, you know, symmetrical, but hey, who cares? I mean, you could have a slightly different leg on one side than the other one. Doesn't bother me. Maybe he got a replacement part. Okay. All right, now for some fun. Let's make... Let me just tweak this one little side right here. Don't try it. Don't do it. It's working on something. It's probably trying to fill in this entire area right by the cancel button. Oh, well, actually, there's a cancel button. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> probably been using this program for a month now. Did not notice that. Okay, so let's get this eraser over here get rid of that. All right, now what we get to do, let's make another layer. I'm going to pick out a different uh, thing to color with, pen. And uh, let's move this one below what we currently got. So let me just uh, kind of got to hold down on it. There we go. Move it on down. And we're going to kind of uh, lightly color this guy in. There I go again, calling him a guy. Uh, let's use kind of a green. Let's see. Maybe a little lighter than that. So I'm going to take the opacity down. Maybe a little bit more like this. Okay, all right. That'll be fun. All right, so now every time I lift up with this, it's going to kind of do a little bit back over again what I've what I previously had, which is actually kind of cool because you get stuff like what I just kind of circled there, which for robots or you know anything sort of metal, even actually even skin to it, it just adds a nice uh, sort of texture to it, and it's um, it's not something that I'm um, used to doing just because I work with uh, vector art so much that uh, it's a strange new world for me but it does make it so you can kind of shade things really easily right because you're just sort of filling stuff in you know or just going over the same areas a few times uh, let's uh, maybe change the color a little bit in a bit for the uh, some of the other parts for right now. That's it. Actually, I kind of gave him a, like a hybrid Bubba Fett helmet, didn't I? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Disney. Okay, let's see. So, again, just kind of keep going over that. And you know, just for right now, I'll just throw a little 
color down there over here too. Uh, in my mind, the light source is somewhere over there where I just made a little smudgy mark. So, I'm trying to make some of this stuff darker over here. And as you can tell, I'm not being too exact about anything. <laughs> just got like a kid with crayons right now. It's just fell outside the lines. Okay. Can I get that in there? Uh, maybe do this one too. And then what we'll do is we'll grab a slightly different color. Maybe little darker oh that's my alarm what does that tell me it goes off every day it tells me it's two o'clock <laughs> seriously <laughs> it's all that alarm does now it, it had a meaning at first all right I guess I'm gonna shift to kind of a bluer color for some of these other parts will that work you know what Let's, let's make it a little grayer. Sorry. Being wishy washy here. What that alarm does is it tells me that I've got about three more hours left in the air quote traditional workday. <laughs> and then I'll have to take a break. So I have to mentally prepare myself. Deal with kids. <laughs> I got four of them. So it's always a lot of fun. Sometimes it's tough to transition. Yeah, oh, I just want to eke out a little bit more work. Okay. Uh, let's kind of fill in this spine area here. And maybe we could do some more of that with the the vague components on the inside of this guy so I'm just gonna kinda go over some of this kind of crazily and hope for the best oh I was gonna say is so I'll put blue over top of what we've already done there so it looks kinda see-through Yep, practice hard, young illustrators. Young Padawan. Lots of uh, opportunities out there. Okay, now let's head back over here to the these cool pipes. And then what we'll do after this is uh, get in some really kind of darker black colors. Just really gonna make things pop, I think. Let's fill that in a little bit. We can kind of do that in a lot of places. Just throw a little bit more of this in there. You know what? Yeah. I'll hold off till I got my black color in. I'm actually going to kind of intentionally make it a little darker around those eyes. And then, uh, yeah, okay, all right. So now that we've got this, oh, let's do that one layer of blue too. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. It doesn't look like what I want. I can actually go a little hotter on the blue. the size up. Try 
try to do a consistent fill in over here a little bit more consistent than I've been doing so I'm trying not to lift up the, the pen Too late. I did it. That's okay. Oh, no, that's not okay. I can also fill in areas too, though, so I could come over here. Fill that in. Okay, close enough for now. Uh, I might actually try to do. Let me take this color. I'm going to go a little bit lighter on it. Actually, very light. Just see what happens if I. Nah, you don't really see that. That's okay. All right, now let's do another layer. We're gonna go dark with this guy. So new layer. Let's go over to here first. Then I'll hit new. Nope. Okay, got it. Uh, switch back over here to this brush, and I'm gonna make this one darker than anything we've done before. Zoom in and let me just test the size of that. I think I could go up just a tad. Okay, so I'm just going over that. See if I can fill it in. Nice. Okay, let's go around the head. And no, I'm not going to go over every single line in here, but there are certain ones that I do want to emphasize a little bit. And also, I need to close off some of these areas just so I can fill things in down here. So, for example, I do want to fill in this area. That didn't do it. Still didn't do it. There we go. Oh, not what I wanted. Okay. Little more what I wanted, but um, let's do this. Let's take the eraser. We'll kind of erase out some of that. Fortunately, the eraser does not have a opacity option like the other tools. It's kind of a bummer. So, what did we have before that? Yeah. Uh, for this, let's just I go down over here, then maybe let's see how that looks. Hmm. That. Nah. Sort of second guessing whether I should have filled that in so dark. Uh, let's try this. Let's go uh, back over here. I think I can take the opacity down and then just tap that again. Yep. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. Maybe get in some of these other areas there. Okay, that's much better. Emphasize some of these parts over here. Some of our very best lines. Alright, let's see how he's looking. 
What do we think? Good so far? Yeah, I could definitely use a lot more of the uh, kind of the darker lines and just sort of emphasize, well, this is what we really meant to draw. <laughs> Things like that. But I'm sure neither of us have the patience to really watch me go over all of this again. So I'll just kind of hit up the the landmarks. Let's uh let's get his kind of outer shell on this side. Do some more of those kind of hanging wires. I do want this to be a tad darker up here, sorry. I was already playing around in this area, but it's got to happen. A little cross hatching, a little double cross hatching. Okay. Uh, I think it's always interesting to see what uh, what things look like without the layers show. I mean, without certain layers showing, it's uh, interesting. Uh, I think I like them all uh, turned on though. Maybe that one we could get rid of now. Yeah, I'm barely seeing that. Uh, let's uh, let's try this. Let's go back a layer. I mean, let's go make another layer. And move this one all the way down here. I'm gonna grab a uh, let's set the opacity up. I'm gonna grab the a kind of a dark gray. And let's see what happens if we make something like this. Do sort of a door out here. <laughs> cool. Um, I do like that. I think uh, I think if we're gonna do that, well, we don't want this to cut. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let me intersect that. I'm just gonna fill in all of it, and then I'm going to. Just kind of draw in around him that that light source. I do think that looks nice. Uh, so there's a little bit of contrast. Um, we'll make uh, one more layer back there, and uh, then let's grab. I'm just gonna grab any old different brush so I don't mess up the settings on the one I got. Let's see what's that gonna look like. Take the opacity back up. Okay. So, oh right, I forgot this is the health inspector droid. So yeah, of course he's making a he's like kind of making a surprise visit through the this doorway here. And what we'll do is just kind of outline this. Yeah, I like how it, uh, like how the gray filled in all those other parts that I kind of had it done much work on. So I don't want to get rid of that. And maybe he's already walked in the door, so it's kind of in the background. Something like that. All right, where's that leave us? Just gotta do a little bit down here. So let's see, take that line down about there, and then 
Star Wars fashion. It's kind of a not a perfect uh, door, you know. So I can't remember who said this, but somebody had this great, great quote that Star Wars always had this very lived-in feel to it. It's very true. So maybe doors are not perfect. <laughs> Okay, and uh, now what can we do? Let's think. Um, yeah, I sort of like where we're at. It'll play. Let's put it that way. Um, maybe I'm hesitant here, but let's go one more draw layer. And we could consider some kind of light shading on him with that light source. Let's see. Is that up all the way? I do mean light. Do no harm at this point. <laughs> If you got something good, don't mess it up. But also, don't be afraid to improve, too, you know. Like we could definitely kind of do some more shading on the part that's supposed to be glass. Anyway, we could probably do a little reflection, something over there. Maybe this whole part's getting a little muted out because of that light. Go either way on that one. Okay, well, you know, I don't think it's bad. Uh, let me grab one more line. I just want to fill this back in over here a little bit. What do we think about that? Better, worse, I don't know. He's coming at you. Did you leave that meat locker open? Oh, that's 10 points off. All right, uh, that I think is going to do it. And uh, just remember, all you got to do is practice. Look at me. I've only been drawn for about a month. <laughs> I mean, well... <laughs> Okay, that's not true. All right, I'll uh, remember visit uh, cartoonsmart.com regularly. Like your life depends on it. Come on. I'll see you guys soon.